Hi, I'm Linda from Sewing Bee Fabrics. My friend Lisa over at CoochieCoo.com asked me, what's better for sewing knits, a walking foot or a knit foot? So today we're going to try and figure it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two wipes. We're going to make one with a knit foot and then one with the walking foot. Now we're going to compare before and afterwards so you can see that to start with we've got 12 centimetres across the width and they're also both 17 centimetres across the length. So first up is the knit foot. Now what is a knit foot? Well it's a snap-on foot with a long arm up here. Now the arm up here goes above the needle bar. That means that it can lift and lower as the foot goes up and down. Underneath it has a little plastic bit. This is a little gripper. As the foot goes back down again it grips onto your fabric and holds it still in place and as it comes back up it allows your knit fabric to pull through without having as much traction on it. So we're going to have a look at how easy it is to put on. So all you need to do is to release your current foot. Now mine has a little lever at the back that I just press and the foot drops off. I can then pull that out the way, hook that over the needle bar, line it up down here and then lower my presser foot and it's clipped on in place. Now I've used a double needle because I prefer to sew knits with a double needle. Just pull my threads through and it's ready to go. And I'm just going to go back a tiny bit to secure my stitches in place. Sew to the end. And again just secure the ends and it's done so as you can see still 17 centimeters across still 12 centimeters in width so it's not pulled it out of place at all so to turn these into wipes what we're going to do is first off we're just going to snip off the corners now what that means is that when you turn them you'll end up with a much sharper corner So they're like that. Now we're going to just have a go at turning them inside out. I tend to pull it through the hole as far as I can and then I just use a chopstick just to pull out those corners a little bit more. So you can see you can get a nice sharp corner that way. Okay, and we're ready for the next stage. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to top stitch around the edge. We're just going to um, line up the outer edge with the outer feed dog and top stitch around and just see how that does with the knit foot. And again, just going to reverse and just anchor those stitches in a little bit and off we go. And I'm just going to go a little bit closer on this edge because this is the one with the opening just to make sure that that's held in nice and securely. And it's done! So next 
next up is the walking foot. Now the difference between the walking foot and the knit foot is that rather than just having a little gripper, this one has little grooves at the bottom and it attaches to the needle bar here. Now as the needle bar moves up and down, it actually pulls the fabric through underneath. So rather than just lifting and lowering, it has a pulling action itself. So the idea being that it's meant to help pull the top layers just at the same speed as the bottom layers are being pulled. Now my main reason for usually choosing the knit foot over the walking foot is purely because I'm a lazy sewer and this one requires you to unscrew and to screw back on again and it's much simpler as you saw before just to clip on and off the knit foot. So let's clip off the knit foot out the way and then we're just going to unscrew the adapter And you can see I've just hooked this bit to the needle bar and this bit onto the main support bar here. And again, I'm just moving my tails in and through out of the way. Now the first big obvious difference is there's actually not as much clearance underneath the bottom. So if you're working with um, several layers of knits, then you might find that this could potentially be more of an issue. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same with the walking foot and then we can have a look at the difference. So I'm just lowering my foot down and then off we go. Okay, and it's done. So let's have a look at the one we've just done with the walking foot. So you can see if we have a look at the length, we're still on 17 centimeters here. And if we turn it around, width is still on 12. So we've not distorted the size on either of the ones that we've done. So let's clip the corners and we'll turn it inside out and top stitch and see how we do. Okay, so we're going to top stitch with the walking foot. Now the first thing that I want you to see is what I was talking about with clearance earlier. So you can see actually it's a little bit more awkward to stuff that corner underneath the walking foot, whereas we had no problems with the knit foot. So I've got to make sure that I come in a little bit more at a side to be able to start. I'm lowering my presser foot down and then off we go. Reversing to get a little bit more security on those stitches. And you can see it's, it's kind of getting a little bit stuck.
you can just feel it's just having little problems where it's thicker at the corner. And that one's done. So let's have a look at how they compare. So I've obviously not ironed these because I didn't want to hide any faults or any problems um, which quite often look better after you've pressed them. So first up, if we have a look at the knit foot, you can see we've got a bit of a curve to the, all the edges where things are just not quite sitting um, completely flat but it's a little bit more wavy along the sides of this one rather than it just being the corners of the knit foot. The other differences are maybe having a look at the corners a little bit more. So if you have a look at this one, you can see it had very little problem going around the corners. Whereas if you compare it to here, you can see it was just a little bit harder to turn. So the stitches have come out a little bit closer together. There's very little in it. Um, some of the other corners Again, it's a little bit more obvious with a little bit heavier stitching just at that angle. But really, there's not a great deal of difference between the two and it would be very difficult to be able to tell them apart. The only thing that I would say is that for me, I felt that the knit foot was a little bit smoother, a little bit easier, especially when you're turning over those seams. So if there has to be a winner, for me it would be the knit foot. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any other sewing questions you want answering, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll bring you more sewing tips soon.